In last class, we learned about locus of a point with examples. I'll quickly recall what is the definition of locus of a point and we'll do three problems related to equation of locus of a point. See what we learned in previous class, I taken P of X comma Y is a variable point which moves under geometrical condition. P is a point which moves based on given geometrical condition. Then the path traced out by the point P is called locus of a point P. The path traced out by the point P is called locus of a point P. In this example what I said, C is some fixed point, P is a point on the locus. You please keep this point in your mind. P is a point on the locus that means P is moving point. P is a variable point. It moves which moves based on given geometrical condition. Here C is the fixed point. P is a point which moves such that which is at a distance of R units from this fixed point C. Then after identifying then the path traced out by the point P. This is the point P moving based on the condition such that P is at a distance of R units from C. Then the path traced out by point P is called locus of P. In this example, if I trace out the point, if I join that all that, if I trace out that path, I am getting a circle. In this example, locus of a point is a circle. In this example, here A, B are two fixed points. P is a point which moves as that which is equidistant from A and B. P is a point which is equidistant from A and B. The point P moves like that. All these things I discussed in last class also. P is a point which moves like this. Here, if I trace out all the points, the path traced out by the point P, if I trace out the point P, the path formed by the point P based on given condition. In this example, locus of a point P is a straight line. Okay. So what I am trying to say, locus of a point means it is a curve. It may be like a circle, parabola, ellipse or it may be straight line also. Now we are going to do problems on finding equation of a locus. You remember finding equation of a locus means in this example we are finding equation of a circle. In this example finding equation of a locus means we are finding equation of a straight line. Okay, let's see first example. You observe this question number one, what they are asking? Find the equation of locus of a point. We need to find equation of locus of a point. That means we need to find out the equation of path traced out by the point. What they given here, this point which is at a distance of, this point is at a distance of 5 units from this point 3 comma 4. See throughout while, while doing equation of a locus, while finding equation of a locus, in the beginning, every time I'll write like this, let P of X comma Y is a point on the locus. P of X comma Y is a point on the locus. It means this is the moving point. This point P is the moving point. It will be on the path. Na? Here locus is nothing but the path traced out by the point P. Here x, y means I don't know what is x, what is y. I just taking moving point as p, p as x comma y. Once these three problems are over, then you will get clear clarity. In all these problems, whenever they ask find the equation of locus, first step is we will take p of x comma y is a point on the locus. Now here they given the point 3 comma 4 na, I taken it as a, a is 3 comma 4. What they are saying? locus of a point which is at a distance of 5 units from this. That means they given that the distance from P to A is 5 units. See this is the information they given. Please try to understand. Which is at a distance of 5 units from 3 comma 4 means they given that P A equal to 5. Here we know as I taken P as X comma Y and A is 3 comma 4. You know how to calculate distance between two points. So square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. So here what I'll write x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square. We already learned in previous class also how to calculate the distance equal to 5. Now to get the equation I'll square this on both sides. Square this on both sides what you will get here x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square equal to 5 square is 25. Now further I'll simplify these things. x minus 3 whole square is what x square plus 9 minus 6x. 
y minus 4 whole square is what? y square plus 16 minus 8y equal to 25. You simplify this. See, x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y. 9 plus 16 is 25. Here also 25 is there. 25, 25 will get cancelled. Then what you will get? x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y equal to 0. What is this? This is the equation for locus of a point. Please try to understand. Whenever we calculate equation of a locus, then you need to keep these points. First one, we will take p of x comma y is a point on the locus. That is the first point. Second thing, we will identify the geometrical condition and we will write what is the geometrical condition. In this example, geometrical condition is p a equal to 5. Now, we will write equation form for this and we will simplify. At the end, we will get equation of a locus. In this class, I am going to do three problems. Now, in all these three problems, you can identify these three points. Now, let's go to the next problem. Now you see what they are asking, find the equation of locus, they are asking to find equation of a locus of a point, locus of a point. Equidistant from, the point is equidistant from these two points A and B. Here they, they given the point A and here they given the point P. What they are asking, equation of locus of a point which is equidistant from these two points, that means if I take P here. P is equidistant from A and B. In last class also I given this type of example. A point P moves such that which is equidistant from A and B. If we join all those points you will get a straight line that we discussed in last class also. Right. First thing we need to find equation of locus. For that that locus of a point is equidistant from given two points. As I said in this finding equation of a locus every time I will write like this P of x comma y is a point on the locus. Okay. They given that P is equidistant from these two points A and B. That means they given that P A equal to P B. As you know P and you know A, P A distance between these two formula square root of x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square. You know distance formula from so many class onwards we are applying this equal to P B. P B distance formula is what? Square root of x minus of minus 2. x minus of minus 2 plus y minus 1 whole square. Now you square this on both sides because the square root will get cancelled and things will be simpler. So I am squaring on both sides. When I square on both sides what you will get here? x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equal to x plus 2 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square. You expand this x minus 1 whole square what you will get x square plus 1 minus 2x. Now you expand this y minus 3 whole square y square plus 9 minus 6y. Now you expand this x plus 2 whole square x square plus 4 plus 4x and expand this y minus 1 whole square y square plus 1 minus 2y. Now you see here this x square x square y square y square will get cancelled. If we simplify this here minus 2x is there now take it to this side 4x plus 2x is 6x. Here minus 6y is there now take it to this side plus 6y minus 2y is plus 4y. Okay here 4 plus 1 5 is there. Here 1 plus 9 10 is there. This 10, this 10 you take it to the right hand side. Here already 5 is there. 5 minus 10 is minus 5, minus 5 equal to 0. I hope you are understanding. What I did all these terms I taken to the right hand side. So I got a 6x plus 4y minus 5 equal to 0. What is this? This is equation of locus. And you can observe, you will come to know in the chapter straight lines, this is the equation of a straight line that you will come to know later in the chapter straight line while finding equation of a straight line. Here what point you observe, you see in the beginning I taken P of x comma y is a point on the locus. Afterwards immediately I identified the geometrical condition. In this, geomet in this question geometrical condition is P a equal to P b. And I started simplifying this at the end, I'll, whatever I will get, that is the equation of a locus of a point. I hope you are understanding. Let's move to next problem. You see find the equation of locus of a point. We need to find the equation of locus of a point such that the join of these two points subtends a right angle at the moving point. Moving point means that variable point P. Okay. So I will try to specify here. First thing what I will do, I will take P of x comma y is a point on the locus and whatever the given two points are there, I take it as A, B. Okay, here what they mentioned, the point P subtends a right angle to the line joining of these two points. You see, this is the line joining of these two points. Na? This point P subtends a right angle 
to line joining of these two means here this angle is 90 degrees. So as per the given information triangle APB here this is the given information I written here let this is not let this is the given information triangle APB is a right angle triangle. How I came to know the triangle APB is a right angle triangle because they said that the line join of these two points subtends a right angle at the moving point. That means this is right angle at this point. So the triangle APB is a right angle triangle. It can be understood easily. Now if what is the geometrical condition we can observe in this right angle triangle. We know Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle. What is Pythagoras theorem? Square of hypotenuse is sum of squares of other two sides. Here hypotenuse is AB. AB square equal to AP square plus BP square. What is AB? See here AB. 3 minus of minus 5. That is 3 plus 5 whole square plus 2 minus 1 whole square. You know how to calculate distance between the points A and B. We know the point A and we know the point B. Okay. Equal to AP square. A is there here. P is there here. AP square that is x minus of minus 5 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square. AP square plus BP square. B is 3 comma 2. P is x comma y. BP square is 3 minus x whole square plus 2 minus y whole square. I hope you are understanding this. See in a distance formula we learn two type of formulas. One is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Another one is distance is square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Here what I applied while calculating PB, I am taking x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square, right? Here uh, and PA, x minus of minus 5 that is x plus 5 whole square, y minus 1 whole square. I believe that you already learned how to use the distance formula, how to calculate the distance formula. That's why I'm explaining these things roughly. I hope you understand these things. Now you see this is minus of minus is plus 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 square is 64, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 square is 1. Now you see x plus 5 whole square, it is of the form a plus b whole square. Expand this x square plus 25 plus 2 into 5 into x that is 10x plus y minus 1 whole square, y square plus 1 minus 2y. Now x minus 3 whole square, expand this x square plus 9 minus 6x, a minus b whole square formula. Now y minus 2 whole square, expand this y square plus 4 minus 4y. Now simplify these things. You see x square plus x square is 2x square. That is what I written. y square plus y square is 2y square. Okay. Now x terms you observe here plus 10x is there here minus 6x is there plus 10x minus 6x is plus 4x. Now y terms you observe minus 2y minus 4y that is minus 6y. Now you see other numbers 25 plus 1 plus 9 plus 4. If we simplify all these things we are getting 39. Now what I will do I will take this 39 to the left hand side. Then 65 minus 39 is 26, right? Now 3x square plus 2y square plus 4x minus 6y as it is I written, okay? Now, you see here I can take 2 common. That 2 will get cancelled here 13 times. So what you will get here x square plus y square plus 2x minus 3y minus 13 equal to 0. You take after cancelling that 2, here 13 will be there. Now take 13 to this side. It will become minus 13 equal to 0. So this is the equation of locus. While finding equation of a locus, you always observe. First thing I am taking P of x comma y is a point on the locus. Second thing I am identifying the geometrical condition from the question. And then I just started simplifying. At the end I am getting equation of a locus. These problems are not very easy. But with little bit of practice you can get all these things. Right. I hope you understand this class.